Tonight, two investigates the mystery surrounding a Bay Area mother arrested and locked up overseas for nearly two years without being charged. KTV's Eric Rasmussen has been looking into the woman's case now for more than a month, and Eric's here now with her family's struggle to get some answers. Frank, this is 59-year-old Moret Sagai of Oakland. Her family says she was arrested without explanation in her home country of Eritrea in East Africa. Now, human rights activists call it one of the most repressive nations in the world, and yet this woman's case has received little attention until now. This is my mom's room. At her apartment in Oakland, Moret Sagai's uh, bedroom is just as she left always, it. She always read the scripture, always. Her Bible opened to the last page she read before traveling to Eritrea in May of 2012. Weeks later, her daughters received a phone call. She'd been arrested. It was terrible. It was, it was scary. No explanation, no charges. This could be anybody's mother. Alita Mellis and her sister say they were told only that their mother, a U.S. citizen, was being held in one of Eritrea's many government jails. Amnesty International recently documented an extensive network of detention centers in the country. We haven't heard nothing. They didn't tell us anything about her, her whereabouts, how she's doing, is she still alive, dead? Eritrea, a country that didn't win independence from Ethiopia until 1993. Moret Sagai fled with her family and landed in San Francisco in 1983. Her daughters say Sagai wanted to return to celebrate the country's Independence Day, not knowing she'd be giving up her own freedom. This is a common practice. We have over 10,000 prisoners in Eritrea. Isaiah Sium is a member of the Eritrean community in the Bay Area and one of a few willing to speak out against the country's president and dictator, Isaias F. Werke. Our country has been ruled by rumors. There is no rule, so all you hear is rumors. If they want to arrest someone, they'll throw some rumors and people will start believing those rumors sometimes. Last year, an Amnesty International report found thousands in Eritrea have been detained without charge in unimaginably atrocious conditions. Human rights activists say some prisoners in Eritrea are actually held in shipping containers like this one. And in the African desert, it can get extremely hot and with limited food and water, conditions in here can be deadly. You didn't know if it was um, day or night. Youngest daughter, Sarah, was locked up for a week when visiting Eritrea in 2001. I didn't have my identification and the military, they I'm talking, hit me, whipped me. These women say not knowing what their mother has been forced to endure has made the last two years unbearable. I feel bad eating because I don't know if she's eating if I'm sleeping. I feel bad if she's cold. Two investigates repeatedly called the Eritrean Embassy in Washington, D.C. to ask about Moret Sagai, but we have yet to receive a response. A U.S. State Department official told KTVU they are aware of Sagai's case, but have not received any formal communications from the Eritrean government of such an arrest or detention. You want to give Grandma a kiss? This family hopes she gets the message. Yep. They'll settle for nothing less than her safe return. I would tell her that I love her and to keep her head up and to know that we're fighting for her out here and we've never given up hope and we won't. Now, after two investigates reached out to Congresswoman Barbara Lee, her office met with Sagai's daughters in this video here right last week. In a statement today, Lee's office called the case complex but said it is working with the State Department but couldn't comment on specifics. Of course, we'll stay on this story to see what happens next, and we'll keep you updated. Eric Rasmussen, KTVU Channel 2 News.